Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at constructions and we're looking at perpendicular bisectors. This is one of three videos on constructions, so keep an eye out for the other two videos on angular bisectors and equilateral triangles. We need to learn how to use a compass first. A compass is a device for drawing nice smooth circles. When you're using a compass, make sure you've already set the distance between the needle and the pencil to the exact distance you want. Put the needle on the uh, paper firmly where you want the centre of the circle to be. Hold the compass at the top. Don't hold it at the side because it might slip uh, if you hold it at the side. Move it slowly and steadily. Let the pencil glide over the paper. Take your time. Remember this is accurate and it is smooth. If you make a mistake, you will have to rub out your circle and do it again. You may want to pause the video now and practice using a compass and draw a few circles and make sure you can use a compass properly before we carry on. Now, today's video we're looking at perpendicular bisectors. That's when you've got two dots and you want to do a perfect halfway line between them. In the exam, these two dots might already be connected, but if not, draw a straight line between them, like this. Now we're going to take our compass and put the needle on one of the dots and draw an arc, like this. We're then going to do the same for the other dot, but when you move the compass from one dot to the other, do not change the distance between the needle and the pencil. Keep the gap between the needle and the pencil exactly the same for the second arc, like this. So these are two perfectly equal arcs from each dot. They cross over at these two points here. And we're going to connect those two points with our pencil and ruler like this. This new line we've just drawn is a perfect halfway line between those two. And we're just going to check by measuring the distance, which is eight centimeters. And so this new distance should be four centimeters, which it is. So we've done it correctly. This is a really simple way for you to check you've done it correctly in your exam. Measure the distance between the two points and then measure the distance between one of the points and the line to see it's halfway. Now, you should also get a perpendicular angle here. That means a right angle. Perpendicular means right angle, so you can measure that angle as well to check it's a perpendicular line. That's how you do perpendicular bisectors in today's uh, video. Try drawing two dots on a piece of paper and see if you can do a perpendicular bisector between the two of them. Thanks for watching today's video, and remember we have far more videos uh, covering all of high school maths. Remember to like and subscribe and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.